Odds are, if you're watching this, you're inside somewhere and warm. But that cold outside is very real, and we saw firsthand how dangerous it is. And what started out for us as a story about cold weather turned into a call to 911 by our Carice Jackman. And she joins us live now with more. And Carice, tell us about the man who needed help. Well, Natalie Tan, his name is Willie, Willie Wolf. He's lived in New Orleans for quite a while, but when the cold weather kicks in, when it's rainy and damp like it is right now, that's when the harsh reality of what's to come really hits him. While many people are in their homes turning up the heat, this guy is just trying to stay on his feet. We noticed him lying there flat on the sidewalk on Gravier Street. We walked over to make sure he was okay and called 911. After some help, he started to feel a little bit better. I can't remember. My, my, my brain's uh, too cold to think. Too cold to think or even move his hands. It's tough. What's your name, hon? William Wolf. Willie's lived in New Orleans for 11 years, but the streets are his home. Have you had any shelter at all today? No. There are thousands like Willie in the city, including Charles Jackson, who helped Willie when his knees started to buckle. I stood here. I've been walking miles. I saw this guy right here, and I, I couldn't just leave him, you know, until my heart go out, you know, and I feel it. I, I emphasize because I'm homeless. He's also looking for a place to stay tonight. He has a job, but it's not enough. Houses now, the rent houses is, is, is way up over my head, my, my income. The city of New Orleans opened their low barrier shelter three months ago. They tell us because of the high need for shelter in the community. Their beds do not stay open for long, and they're running at capacity every day. With the cold weather here, they're participating in emergency freeze nights when declared by the city and will have 30 emergency cots. With the hardest months ahead, Willie and many like him say there needs to be more shelters like this, not just to stay warm, but to stay alive. My colleague photojournalist Neil and I stayed with Willie for about 40 minutes waiting for the ambulance to arrive. Unfortunately, by the time we left, we did not see them come. But Willie was able to stand on his own two feet by the time we left. Now, there are several shelters in the area, Ozanam Inn and Covenant House, but many people who live on the streets say it's not enough. Reporting live in the CBD, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.